Hey guys. Hey guys, Denise. Denette. Perry Hill Farms. Welcome to our eighth, eighth episode of Double Trouble Weekend Review. Double Trouble's Weekend Review. And uh, what's been... Double... It's been a different week this week. You know, we, we're still doing farm stuff every day. We haven't spent as much time in the kitchen this week. We haven't had to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen this week. We actually worked a lot on wedding stuff. Wedding stuff. We or, didn't even talk about what we were going to talk about. And, I, and, and you basically just took the words right out of my mouth. That twin thing. We have been doing that this week. <laughs> we have, yeah, we'll have to share our, our... Can we share that? Would that be okay? Yeah, we don't share all the details. Right, we just... Yeah, okay, that's right. We can share. We can share. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. We've been in the... Um, not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen much. We did spend one day making salsa. Making salsa. But, <laughs> you know, we had a busy weekend with markets uh, this past weekend. And um, we've just been really tired of trying to catch up on product. We were off for two weeks uh, taking care of the family and parties and stuff like that. And so last weekend we spent, we did our markets again. And we were just kind of plum tired. Well, and we really haven't rested. We really haven't rested. We haven't. Um, our our uh, caretaking for our mom's kind of increased a little bit. Yes. Um, We've had to start taking care of her mom. That's our sweet soul. You know, she does live close to us on the property. And so, um, she, but she just has needed a lot of help lately. So, we've been there helping her. But That's right. We went and checked on her Monday morning, and she was doing great and got her breakfast and her medicines and all that. And Generally, we go down in the morning, check on her, mm -hmm. um, get her up, get her breakfast. Um, and um, if she wants to come up, she usually, sometimes she'll come up and sit with us while we work. I think she did that one day this week, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then we generally go down in the evening times and we um, um, put her to bed. Yeah. And yeah. tuck her in bed and help her. If she wants us to shower or something, we help her get a shower. But anyway, so that's been a lot of what we've been doing this week. Well, I was getting to what we did on Monday, spur of the moment. Oh, yes, <laughs> you were. Uh -huh. We haven't discussed what we're going to talk about today, so y'all are getting... Uh, Raw, raw <laughs> footage. Um, <clears throat> we uh, we got took care of mother, and we're heading back on the golf cart, and it is beautiful Monday morning, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. About nine o'clock, nine fifteen, and we kind of look at each other, and we're like, <sighs> we really should be on the beach. <laughs> That's right. And Danette's, <coughs> excuse me, Danette's like, I can be ready at ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, uh, Lordy. We actually... We're took, in the car and ready at 10 o'clock. It took a day, drove down to the beach for just a few hours, sat down on the beach, just the two of us. Didn't talk a whole lot, did we? We sure didn't. We were very... It was just just an opportunity to sit, relax, be quiet, and enjoy different scenery and view. And it was a wonderful... Wonderful day. We were actually back at home before dark that night. Mm -hmm. um, we don't live a little over an hour away from the beach, so mm -hmm. it's a little drive, but not terrible. And so we we did that, come back home, and was back home uh, Monday night with our with our family and mm -hmm. enjoyed a day break from the farm. Now uh, Tuesday we made salsa. All day, is that right? No, no, it wasn't Tuesday, was it? Wait, right. well, we know it was this past week. We did it, so I had a day of salsa, and then the other day was a day of making floral arrangements for someone's daughter's wedding. Yes, and uh, <clears throat> my storage room is slam full of flower arrangements and things that we're making. Um, she is wanted to make her own bouquets for mm -hmm. the wedding mm -hmm. and we got all of those done and we're, we've got which was a task that really surprised us. I mean, we've got eight, bu her bouquet with seven bridesmaids done. Mm -hmm. And then we were- Grandparents and mo mothers. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. And then we did wreaths for to decorate mm -hmm. doors and we did, uh, we got <coughs> table arrangements made. Sarah, she just, she, she had her plan going and she, she knew went. what she wanted. That's right. And she made it happen. I will she tell did. you this much. I despise pompous grass. <laughs> that was and, Tuesday because we went to Jace's game Tuesday night. And remember, Jace had, I mean, not Jace, but we were Stubby, sitting there. Stubby had pompous grass all over all his back. All over, and we saw pompous for days. I we think I see a pompous. I think I vacuumed for a good 30 to 40 minutes in my living room just trying to catch every piece that was on the furniture, on the... <laughs> It was over the all the dogs. It was oh my gosh. All of my mother. It was everywhere. Yeah. But we did some beautiful arrangements and but we can share the photos. You know, to talk about sharing the photos, our last video, last week's video, we had videos in in the video that when we, when we previewed the video, pictures were supposed to pop up there. But when we post the video, they didn't show up. Uh, I don't know. I, I I did not go back and watch our last episode, so um, I don't know what this happened. Week, so I don't know for sure. But anyway, <clears throat> we'll try to add a picture of say you're doing wedding stuff without saying you're doing wedding stuff. Absolutely, because <laughs> it, it it there's flowers everywhere. Right. But we have tomorrow we go down to six weeks before the big wedding mm -hmm. and so we are very focused on getting that done and going but as far as the farm goes uh, we have been um steadily picking our habanero peppers they're and still coming in peppers they're still coming in we we picked up a guest sister we picked up a guest <laughs> hello <laughs> oh briar this is briar this is Jason Lauren's baby. He is going to be spending the weekend with Nana. Hey, Deborah, Barbara. Can you say hey to the camera? Hey, Zoom Zoom. Hey, Zoom Zoom. Sweet boy. Sweet boy. <laughs> okay, go play. Go play. Go play. We got dogs all on our feet, by the way. Absolutely, the boss. Yep. But uh, we did manage to plow. We get mm -hmm. back to that. We managed to plow the garden um, and plant it in millet and black oil sunflower seeds, which is starting to come up. Right. 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 We've got a good cover crop going. So, um, our, like I said, our pepper plants are still going in the raised bed. They're good. Mm -hmm. um, we pulled up, did we talk about that? We pulled up all the tomato plants. They're gone. The tomato plants are pulled up and gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, and all, but uh, that's pretty much it. That we did talk about last week, the, the dang, um, dang, the uh, onions that Eric found, they're doing really well. The multiplying onions that and are the, growing. Yeah, yeah they're, they're starting to get little, their bulbs are growing. Yes, yeah, so they're see growing. They survived the transplant, so they're doing good, so we'll they're have those. very well. But uh, anyway, what was our double trouble this week? Let's see. Double trouble. Probably this morning. You think? We got a video on that coming out. Well, the funny story that goes along with our week is just oh. yesterday when uh, we had to get ready to... You had to meet your... your. We met our caterer for Sarah's wedding, mm -hmm. and we were meeting... We were taking Mom to the doctor, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you had a hair appointment. So what turned into... We had a lot to do. We decided we'd just have Mom and... Danette go on with us when we met the caterer at the coffee shop and and then that would save us some time mm -hmm. in our appointments. So we're getting ready now. I'm in my home getting ready. Danette's at her home getting ready and she walks into my house. We are wearing the identical, identical same, same dress. dress. Yep. Uh, never. Which has happened a lot lately. It has happened a lot lately. Right. It was just very funny. So well, we, we tend to go shopping together a lot, and we and we like the same styles. And and uh, um, we are our friend is back. Um. So um. Anyway, 
So I walked in and we had all the same dress. It was quite funny. She said, well, should we change? And I said, nah, I'm like, we'll, we'll, we can stay the same. So we, needless to say, we got on the stairs yesterday. We sure did. People we, don't understand grown adults wearing the same clothes. Yeah, two grown women wearing the same outfit. It was really funny. But it was fun. We, it, it took us back to when we were little bitty kids and mother used to make us outfits to wear. That's right. But uh, we did have a moment yesterday. Would that come in handy? Would that come in handy? Um, um, you're, you're only allowed one person um, at this facility that does medical testing. And, uh, we, well, at this point, they're, they're COVID, I don't even want to say that name. The, is on the rise. Yeah. And the numbers are getting higher, so they, they, now they're telling you you can't have anybody come in. Well, we're Which, mother's care giver, yes. and she's got a little bit of dementia, so we asked that we could go in with her, at least one of us. And so the funny story is, is that it was so close to Danette's appointment. She went in first and got the little bracelet to wear as a caregiver and realized quickly that um, she wasn't going to get to stay, and it was going to take longer to get this test done, so we... She come running out to the car while I'm sitting in the car waiting for her to get done. And uh, we proceed to trade bracelets and hair clips. Just so, even though we had the same dress on, we're twins. Her, her hair, hair was up, my hair was down. Right. And so we trade off just so I could go back in there and be with my mom. Now, Rand, we wouldn't have done that if you were sick. Or oh, we of course, no. Anything. No, we would not have but done that. But we knew. We had a mask on. And right. Um, we went in and I was able to stay with my mother while she had. And that was our, really our first time we've ever twin swapped. In, in 51 years, yeah. Absolutely. It was and really funny. You want to get down and play? It was really, really funny that we did that. There and you go. Just a little funny from yesterday that we did. It was, oh, excuse me. It was, it was funny. And uh, my sister, older sister was like, uh, do I still get to call you Nisi or do I need to call you Nit now? I don't know which one I need to call you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it was funny. But anyway, I always thought it was funny. And we, um, let's see. Today we're feeding the hogs and naturally I get muddy poop all over me. She gets nope. right, splattered. Yeah, but nothing, nothing, nothing real big to talk about this week, really. We did. Now, uh, well, we we do have uh, Primrose. We've had her pinned up for, yeah, this is our second week, I think. And uh, my goat, and she's so close to having a baby. I just, I, I don't know when it's going to happen. Every right. time we go out there, we try to catch the scene. We'll have some videos of that coming up, too. Right. She still has not delivered yet, so. As of yet. As of yet. We're waiting. Right that we did milk October Grace this morning for, for the guys and mm -hmm. and got some milk off of her. That's right. Um, we're winding down our markets, so we got yeah, this one and maybe one more that we're gonna do. We'll be done with those mark. We're gonna do's. Huh? We're gonna do's. Did I say do's? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll get tongue tied. I know. You tunk Watson some wabbits. I do tunk Watson at wabbits, I sure do. But. but Nothing major. Uh, we are going to um, talk more about possibly uh, what we want to plant in our garden for fall. And we are going uh, um, to discuss what do we need to do on the farm to be more efficient as far as um, is it time for us to minimize some of our herds? Um, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, because with the cost of everything going through the roof, uh, right now, um, mm -hmm. it's hard, you know, to spend money on hay and and commodity feed for our our animals to eat. Um, mm -hmm. It's expensive. It, it is. It really is expensive. Mm -hmm. So we've got some discussion to make about that coming up soon. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it as far as the farm goes. So uh, just stay with us as we decide what we're going to do and make those decisions on what's next for Perry Hill Farms. So, wait just a minute. What? We haven't done our fun facts. Oh, yeah. So, since our one of our biggest sellers at our markets that we do is our salsa. Yes, our salsa. Our salsa. Yes. We thought, look at there. I don't know if you can see it that far back. 
right here. Mm, bring me a chip, sister. Um, we thought that we would do some fun facts about salsa. Sure. Sure. I do want to, I am very fascinated in that, uh, that Stumpy was watching a video of someone doing salsa with, with, not with tomatoes, but what was that yesterday? Radishes. Radishes. <clears throat> it was, um, it was, um, Ariel and Eric. Okay. We'll in Alaska. Yeah. See how that turned I can't out. remember what there's. I didn't get to watch the end of the video. Salsa fun facts that you might not have known. While she's getting the facts. Maybe you can hear me take. over her crunch. Uh -huh. um, it's a common Mexican cuisine. Served with chips, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, you can have several variations. It says a salsa, is it roja? Is a red sauce, a salsa verde? Mm -hmm. Is it green? Is it green? Mm -hmm. And a salsa taquera is a taco sauce. Okay. I didn't know that. And that what month of the year is National Salsa Month? Well, of course. What else is in May? May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So, salsa month would be... The month of May. Cool. Mm. National Salsa Month. Um, it originated. It originated among the Inca people and can be traced all the way back to the Aztecs and the Mayans. Denise, what heat did you do? That's a medium. Oh, it's got a little kick to it. Does it have a little bite to it? I'm a wimp when it comes to salsa. Um, I hope that you're just. Oh no 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 no, sir. Oh no! We got a dog chewing on the paper leg. No, sir. Excuse me, Carl. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Back to the salsa facts. Um, 2003, the chips and salsa were designated as the official state snack in Texas. Mm -hmm. Um. The sales of salsa overtook that of ketchup in 1991 in, in the terms mm -hmm. of a dollar value. Mm -hmm. So, pretty interesting, pretty interesting facts on salsa. And it's very good. We could eat our weight in it. I'll tell you the, the batch mm -hmm. that we made this week. Is this hot? It's Let me see. Well, Let me see. Watch. It will be spicy to her. It is to me. Um, this is the salsa we made this week. We made it with some of our tomatoes out of our raised beds. Mm. I'm telling you, to have a good tomato makes the world a different difference in flavor. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> it makes a world of difference for salsa. And I just can't, I, it, it's sad that we have to go through the fall weather time, winter what, uh, seasons, and not have any of fresh our tomatoes. Tomatoes. fresh tomatoes. So hopefully we'll do some of the raised beds again and hopefully they'll do good during the during the fall. You know what flavor that has? What? A Moorish flavor. <laughs> <laughs> the more you eat, the more you want. The more you want. Mm. I wish that we had a taste or smell. You could taste that. It's very good. It is. Yep. And once you start eating, you can't stop. We shouldn't have. We're trying to be so good on our diet. And I hate using the word term diet, but just eating better. Yeah. But, and salsa's not that bad for you. <laughs> it's not. It's the chips. It's the chips. <laughs> and you can't eat salsa without chips, right? You could. Yeah, but it's not as good. Mm hmm. Mm. So that's the fun facts about salsa. Do you do that or do I do that? That's you. I'm over here. While we clean up Danette's mess, we're going to let you guys go. We thank you so much for liking and subscribing to our channel. We thank you for watching our YouTube videos. All the sweet comments. Anyway, All we appreciate sweet. the visit from our friends. They're all happy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they came and visited us last weekend. Mm -hmm. It was so nice to have them over on the farm. Yep. And uh, show them around, and they have so much. He he's he's so smart, and she's oh, so precious, chewing. and she's precious, right? And so it was nice to exchange ideas and information. That's right about the farm. It really was. Well, we gotta get busy, sister. We got a lot to load up and head on. Maybe we won't get rained out 
I'm gonna hope not. So, y'all, thank you so much. Y'all are so kind. The sweet words you send us mm -hmm. in the messages um, are so sweet, and we enjoy it. Y'all are what keeps us going, right? That's right. God bless you. God bless you. As Stumpy always says, a simple life is a much more enjoyable life. Cheers on the salsa. Cheers. See ya. See you next time.